All right, so we got 10 naughty Easter eggs you shouldn't be caught watching. Let's get right to the video. I'm excited for this one. We all know this, Easter eggs it looks like a, a very interesting game, title. But what happens when they show a little more leg, so to speak? Hi, folks. It's Falcon, and today on Game Ranks, like 10 that. naughty Easter eggs we can't unsee, part two. Starting off with number 10, it's Max Payne 3, Amor E. Demas, Max Payne 3? A.K.A. Love and Ladies. One of the right, most memorable see. things from the original Max Payne games were the television shows. Once in a while, you could find TVs around, and of course, there were TV shows. If you yeah. want you can just stop and watch these things and see stories play out from shows like Lords and Ladies, Dick Justice, which is a big parody of Max Payne's love of melodramatic narration, and okay. Address Unknown, a psychological thriller. Max Payne okay. 3 is missing a lot of the weirder <coughs> aspects of the original games, but that doesn't mean they're completely gone. During the stadium mission, you can actually stop and take in some TV. At first, it's just news, but if you stick with it, you'll eventually see a show, Amor e Damas, a truly ridiculous telenova that starts off over the top and gets more ridiculous. Oh, it starts no. off with an appropriately trashy cat fight, which goes on for a while before things get really weird. Suddenly, one of them starts to give birth, and the creature that comes out is some goofy-looking baby demon thing. Who gets feet? His feet is turned. This guy. What is happening? <laughs> it's insane. And actually, his feet. Kind of wish we <laughs> Look at his feet. And his number feet nine is, is the turned three, a the other way. Couple, this little moment, which is Bro. actually one of the most hidden scenes in the game, isn't particularly strange, but it is embarrassing. Throughout the game, you're given the option to seriously pursue Trist or Yennefer. For most players, it's assumed you can only romance one, but it is actually hmm. possible for Geralt to make his move on both of them with seemingly no negative consequences. Uh, really? At first. Eventually, the two of them figure out what you've been doing. Uh, they're sorceresses, after all, and it seems like you'd figure that into the equation in doing this, but it seems like things are working out in your favor, so whatever. The two of them invite you to a room and put on a show like the caught in a bed, bro, man. In his undies, tell him they know what he's been up to, and then they leave. It takes Dandelion to come rescue you, and he makes fun of you. I'm yeah. time now, or you'll need that gold to replace your teeth. <laughs> You'd have to catch me first, and you don't exactly look like you're getting out of here anytime soon. I mean, really cuts you loose. After that, both romance options are dead in the water, and there's nothing you can do to fix it other than reloading an old save and potentially losing dozens of hours of progress. Nah, it's a secret bro. we'd rather see, <coughs> not necessarily because the content is super risque. It's pretty mild, actually. But if you see it, that means you've messed up more or less or maybe you didn't maybe that was wow your they really did me dirty like that. i thought i'm thinking the two for one special bro uh, with the with the extra counts, biscuit on the side of the bro it, it is what it is though they want to see a player hate bro it is what it is if you're expecting a spooky, shout out to dead space easter egg look elsewhere uh it's about to get real stupid in the medical section of the ship in the room where you get the hydrazine tank uh there's a bunch of empty suits lined up against the wall one yeah. funny thing you can do is use kinesis to manipulate the arms of the empty suits there isn't really yeah. any purpose to it it's just kind of funny and with the suits lined up the way they are the developers at ea motive knew that players were going to do something dumb like you can take an arm and slap the butt of the suit in front of it it's dumb and totally pointless but uh you're gonna laugh your ass off and also slap the suit's ass off I that wasn't funny that wasn't not gonna come that off. wasn't funny Still weirdly hypnotic also you do it once you kind of have to do it again and number seven is Ratchet. No, I, I would only do it. No, I sorry, I wouldn't do it. Sorry. By this in the original release, continually flip jumping around the hoverboard girl with R1 plus X in a direction uh, causes her breasts to get larger. The original Ratchet and Clank game is a little different from all the other games in the series these days. Tone's a little darker, a little more satirical, and it's got a little bit of that early 2000s edginess. Oh, oh man. God. Most of this at least yeah. feels like it belongs in the game, though, but this Easter egg just, it, uh, it feels out of place in a kid's game. On the planet Rilgar, Starling's a character you have to talk to to do the hoverboard race. The design is a, a little much for a kid's game, but, yeah. but the really, you know, over-the-top ridiculous thing here is that if you take Ratchet and continuously do flip jumps over her, well, look, I know what you're looking at. Like, why is this here? Obviously, this was nah, I wasn't looking at that remake, and, and she was redesigned. <laughs> <coughs> that game because of course she was game. like why was this in of course the game? she was and number six is Red Dead Redemption, Husband and oh, Wife. No. Plenty of risque secrets to be found in the Red Dead games. Uh, the Wild West could be a lawless place, of course. All manner of debaucheries happen there. Uh, so, yeah, you're going to see some of that in these games. 
One little secret I kind of wish I never saw was found in the Guthrie farm in Hanover. You go to this okay. place as part of the debt collection mission, and it's not all that you can find in this place. Inside a little animal shed on the southern part of the farm, you find a dead guy with his pants down next to a dead sheep with a ribbon around its neck. This whole scene doesn't look so good right from the moment you see it, but if you loot the sheep, there's confirmation. The sheep had a wedding ring on it. You know, guy loved sheep. Now he's dead. Unclear what did him in. Uh, no puncture wounds, but I can't imagine it was anything other than unpleasant. I don't know that there's really a lot to think about here. Just let's let's move on, actually. And number five Wait, in Metal what? Gear Solid 3, Eva's Cure Menu Secret. <laughs> if there's one thing you can take away from the Metal Gear Solid series. Metal Gear Solid, Mayor okay. Kojima is an alleged horn dog. Pretty much every game in the series lets you cast a male gaze on the female cast, and while it's all inappropriate on some level, sometimes it's kind of like, ah, eh, you know, whatever. That's a thing. This is a thing that we see in life. It's not bad to acknowledge it. And sometimes it's, uh, well, a little too over the top. This one secret in MGS3 feels a, a little out of place and okay. in the second category, the over the top category. Uh, it's really all about context. During the finale yeah. of the game where Snake and Eva are escaping from the Russian base after completing their mission, the motorcycle yeah. crashes and you and her are forced to proceed on foot, right? Yeah. Eva actually gets seriously injured from the crash and the entire sequence is a desperate escape through the woods while you're being hunted by Russian soldiers. It's one of the most tense parts of the game, and that doesn't mean that you can't stop the game, go into the cure menu, and look at her through an x-ray. So you can go into her medical history using this to see her food oh, history, no. and for whatever reason, you can feed her noodles here, which is just odd. But if you go okay. back to the cure menu, Eva will appear in a bikini and will make seductive poses. Yes, Eva is supposed to be kind of a bombshell Bond girl character for the game, and yeah, maybe at some other point of the story that would have made sense, but not here. This is not the time. Things are tense. People could die. That man, you are eating that man snake was down bad, bro. Lady. Not that it's actually her. It's basically a puppet that Hideo Kojima is puppeteering. And number four is Hitman. Y'all down Blood bad, Money's bro. Mystery Coin. The recent Hitman games have had their fair share Hitman. of weird Easter eggs, to say the very least. But those are far from the only games in the series to get silly. The Hitman yeah. games have had Easter eggs right from the beginning, and a lot of them are just oh, as really? I didn't know found in the recent trilogy. Take, for example, Blood Money. On the mission Till Death Do Us Part, the one set in the bio mission during a wedding, you can find this area where some guys are fighting each other for whatever reason. If you go northwest from those guys, you can find a very small, easy-to-miss coin on the ground, and if you shoot it, then all the guys who are just fighting suddenly become naked and run up to you and clap. Shooting that coin just unlocked their newfound love of the nudist lifestyle, I guess. Up uh, also made them pacifist. They were fighting. Now they're not. Now they do get Hello? bored of, of clapping after a while and remember their problems. Well, if you don't the pacifism so fades and they get back to fighting, but their clothes don't go back on. So uh, is it fighting? If you I, don't I don't put your clothes, where did they fighting. go? It counts as something, but I don't know if fighting yeah. is what it counts as. Light that thing up. And Bro, where did you get your gun from? Banjo, Tui's, Pterodactyl, Land Trick. I don't know why. Like I said, but Banjo, Kazoo at first. Yes, let's go. Banjo, like Kazoo. Where, where they just can't help themselves. One of my uh, favorite characters growing up games meant for kids they have to sneak in some rude humor to amuse themselves and while most of it pretty harmless there's right. one secret i'd prefer if i'd never seen it found in pterodactyl in the fifth main level of the game there's a little pathway that leads to mumbo jumbo's hut from the ground yeah. it doesn't look like anything in particular but if you get high up uh, 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 there it is yep Rare managed to sneak in a crew drunk into an officially licensed Nintendo game. There's even a few drops of pee. Like, gotta make sure you know what you're looking at. Uh, That's a dirty pee. mind, bro. Nah, I, nah. I feel like you just got a dirty deal, mind. But you gotta go back and forth. On at first, I didn't see it. You, it nah, I would never seen enough. it. Did they really nah, hold on. Make you have to walk. I would have never seen it unless he said, "Oh, there it is. There it is." No. And nah, you just got a dirty mind. That's Bob's it, bro. Secret from Sin. Uh, to call Sin a juvenile game would be a massive understatement. It's a game designed for 12-year-old boys, and that's the only explanation. You play <laughs> Blade. You're taking on the ridiculous Alexis Sinclair. Eventually, you make it to her secret underground castle because that's in the game. And if you yeah. take time and explore, you can find a hidden passage to Janitor Bob's room. Inside, there's some posters and a camera monitor that shows the evil villain um, taking a bath. 
Kind of sounds like a private moment, and if you know clip over to the room, that confirms it. If you've ever wanted to see a low polygon lump of pixels that vaguely resembles the shape of a woman play the one-armed bandit, there you go. Embarrassing enough to talk that, about it. And, uh, maybe that I man had a whole bleach. room got some brain bleach. just dedicated to her and Kirby spying on her. Two's naked lady. Last thing I would have expected oh, to find no. in a Kirby game. Uh, a series known for being famous. Shout out to Kirby, one of the best offensive. video game characters of all time. There's at least one risque thing you can find in Kirby's second adventure on the Game Boy. <laughs> on level 5-5, five, five, there's a secret section that takes you to this vertical room with a bunch of floating blocks. It doesn't really look like much from close up, but when you zoom out, you can see that the blocks are arranged in a vague approximation of a naked woman in a Kirby game. Uh, why? I don't know. Nobody from Nintendo's actually commented on this or attempted to explain what it's supposed to be. It's just there. So, I guess there's a little plausible deniable mm. here. It's such a crude drawing that somebody could easily claim it's supposed to be something else, but I'm pretty Pretty sure it's supposed <coughs> to be a woman. What else realistically is I don't know about be? that one, bro. And that's all for today. Leave us a comment. Let us know. <coughs> I mean, okay, I like see listen. Shout out to this guy or group or girl, whatever you guys want to call it. All right, shout out to you guys. But I mean, I feel like the last one that could be a stretch because that that could at first I'm gonna be real. If you would have never said, Oh guys, guys, look at this, this looks like a girl, right? If you if you would never said that, then I've then me looking at that, I would never thought. Okay, that looks like a girl. I would never thought that. I mean, I don't I don't know if that's just like. I don't know. I'm not calling this guy dirty minded or nothing like that. But all I'm saying is, if you didn't say, "Oh guys, don't this thing look like a girl?" I would have never even came to the conclusion that okay, yeah, this does look like a girl. No, I mean, I I, I don't no. I'm being serious. I I, I maybe listen. Y'all got dirty minds. Just admit it, cause I don't. I'm not down bad like y'all at the end of the day. like, it, And it is what it is. Hopefully you guys enjoy my reaction to this. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video. Make sure you guys follow my Twitch at the bottom of the screen down below. If you guys can, if you guys don't want to, it's okay. I'll see you later for the next one I'm out. And